Skin, together with gills and the gut, is the initial tissue defense barrier in fish. Here we take a closer look at fish skin and how it recovers from mechanical damage. Fish skin is a vital interface between the body and water, responsible for processes like sensing, camouflage, skin transport and protection from infectious agents like parasites and bacteria. Now, let's examine the complexity of the skin of an Atlantic salmon. Their skin is made up of several layers. Firstly, the mucus layer, or gel, protects the surface. The epidermis below, containing keratocytes, produces this mucus while sealing the body. The dermis and the hypodermis below this provide blood, pigment and strength. Fish scales slot between the epidermis and the dermis, providing a structure for the epidermis to rest on. Aquaculture is increasing with our growing population. Therefore, healthy fish stocks are important for sustainably meeting the world's demand for food. Atlantic salmon are kept in pens, where farming operations can stress the fish and damage the skin. Mechanical damage occurs through handling procedures such as pumping and crowding. However, fish have evolved a rapid way of healing. Two healing processes are dependent on the type of wound the fish experiences. Superficial wounds heal rapidly. The keratocytes in the epidermis move across from both sides of the wound and scales regenerate. In a deep wound, where all the skin layers are damaged, a different response is triggered. Healing takes much longer as several types of tissue must be regenerated. Initially, the fish will bleed. A rapid re-epithelialization occurs, much like with the superficial wound. Then, an inflammation response brings immune cells to the wound site. This helps combat pathogens and clear the wound of any damaged tissue. Once inflammation subsides, granulation tissue forms, with new connected tissue and microscopic blood vessels. Finally, tissue remodeling and wound contraction occur. In Atlantic salmon, this whole process takes over two months, depending on the individual fish and environmental conditions. Fish are poikilothermic, meaning that the body temperature varies depending upon the water temperature. Many other factors change the rate at which healing occurs. These include fish species, water temperature, pH, carbon dioxide, ammonia, fish age, handling or overcrowding. In order to maximize fish health and consequently economic gain, future research should be aimed at understanding which biotic and abiotic variables increase the speed of wound healing. Alongside this, reducing initial wounding events through careful handling, spacious pens and minimal fish pumping.